my wife she likes to travel to keep her near me my lovely wife that's why i build the airplane for her so she feel her, herself always in the plane you know i'm in construction so 1999 i start this building up to now i'm doing some work in the house i never complete fully so many press people so many people they ask me why i build the house in nigeria I didn't build it in my country. I said, this is my country. I don't have any other country apart from Nigeria. I'm very, very proud. But some Nigeria did not know the value of Nigeria. This one not be just a airplane house for us. This one our home. In for just I grew up and uh, Nigeria they bought me. So those days I know it's 12 years. When my father starts to build this thing. So anytime we come from school from Joss, we will come here, we will dig, use shovel, use digger, plant trees, all these trees where you see for our back, you know. And in those days, now only one room we get for downstairs. So if we come, we all stay there. And slowly, slowly, we done a bit. And I don't, this year we reached 20 years where my father they built this house. And still never finish. Hey, my mama, my mama no one come do interview because they, she know they like camera too much, so now they do all those uh, media stuff for them, but Pops, you know mine. I grew up with my father doing construction, and me too, you know, we're in the construction business together. For my father, it was something that he wanted to just leave a legacy behind, both in Nigeria and internationally, because he wanted to do something that everybody would say, who built that house? You know, my story is not just love story. I built everything for my legacy in Nigeria, for, for my country, for my children, for my wife, for everybody. My building in, in Abuja here, it gives it give good name to Abuja for tourism, for everything in Abuja.